So basically, the point is that you can use Selenium IDE to get a little bit familiar with how it helps you to identify elements, but overall, it's not the best tool for the job. The best tool for our job is going to be Firebug on Firefox browser, and we're going to learn how to use that tool like excellent automation engineers. So with all of that said, let's go into the types of different locators that we can use to identify our objects. And those include an ID, a class name, a name, link text, partial links text, XPath, CSS selector, and DOM, which stands for Document Object Model, which if any of you have ever used QTP, you may be familiar with it. If not, no big deal. We'll learn about it here. So let's talk about these guys one at a time. The ID. The ID is the best way to identify an element because it's always unique. If an element has an ID, then you can identify it and be certain that that element will almost never change. So if you're working with developers, and you are in a modern company that likes to be progressive and make good advances, you can ask your developers to give you elements with IDs so that it can make your job easier, right? If you can spend one minute identifying an element as opposed to 15 minutes, that's a significant advantage per element. For example, here, this element is going to have an ID and you can see that it has an ID and using this ID, you can identify it. This element that I just highlighted does not have an ID and therefore you can see the XPath that appeared here is extremely complicated. And so to identify this, it's going to be much harder than to identify something with an ID. So let's get a little bit familiar with Firebug. So if I click this button here and come over here and click this button on the automation practice page, you guys can see how first it's highlighted in the HTML. And second up here, this is the X path that shows how to identify the element. Now, don't worry about that yet, but notice this value. Okay. This is how you identify an element with an ID. And this is how an identification of an element looks without an ID. Which one is looking simpler? This one or that one? I'll go with the first choice. 